So, do you ever just spawn with really good starting DPS and then immediately bump into a room with two spawners and five green flies? Yeah, me neither. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Eden Destination Roulette, where I try to win as many runs as possible with Eden while going to randomize destinations. Today for a streak of 23, I'm bringing you run to Blue Baby through the boss rush, and right off the bat, a pain. But... That was one of the few painful parts of this run. As you saw from the thumbnail, this run is going to get ridiculous and it's going to do so really, really fast with our first item room being Ipecac right off the bat. Other than that, super fun one. It didn't take me long uh, for me to turn on speedrun mode in this one because the run was as good as one. Really fun one, super ridiculous build. I hope you enjoy this one. And if you do, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Self with the cac. Ooh. Very easy to hit yourself with the cack, but we should be fine. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Alright, let's get a magic mush. Why not? It is a boss rush run, so I can't farm forever. But I think I can go for these mushrooms pretty easily. And blow up the guy, get the rainbow animation, because why not? And I mean, I mean, I could go for the... Oh, I could go for the deck of cards, but I think I'm good. The pseudo-flight is nice. Infinite Bombs makes up a bit for that and makes me not want the pseudo-flight as much. But I still think the opportunity cost of spending 15 cents on that deck of cards is too big. Even though one or the other higher fan card could be pretty nice. Oh? Choo choo, oh right, this is live. Yes, that is how live streaming works. Okay, turns out this is super easy when you have Ipecag. That was rude. That was just straight up rude, sir. That was just straight up rude. I am super happy about a health up with Ipecag. I thought live stream worked by being pre-recorded. Some people may be handling their live streams that way. And that is okay. I mean, it's really not, but... Oh, man. Okay, that's a lot of free keys. Bit unfortunate that the secret room isn't between that item room and the... the chest room but at least i can bomb into the boss challenge room hello all right all right we need to go deeper ladies and gentlemen okay i want that but also ipecac is kind of weird in here someone once pre-recorded a live stream for an alibi to murder i'm not sure if you're being serious but i mean i can totally see that happening Okay, Ipecac makes this super easy. Anyone remember the good old days when having flies with Ipecac? Like, flies were affected by the plus 40 damage that comes with Ipecac. And thus, flies were just absolute murder machines when you had Ipecac. Like, seriously, one of the most legit speedrunning combos back in my day was Ipecac plus Guppy's head. Because the flies just did so much damage. Speaking of flies... I'm two out of three on the, the fly transformation. Oh, no. Two out of three, ladies and gents. We're looking for that quarter. Uh, plus one damage. This is one of the few situations where I really don't care about the power croissant. Because, you know, plus one damage when you're already at 44.38 is not that much. And the more champions or something, we're actually going to notice. Ah! That's the super secret. Okay, I didn't expect it to be there. I just bombed the wall for good measure. I really don't need that so much. I don't really need the Hagalas either. I want to, like, 
check all of these, even though I don't know I'm gonna go for a quarter if one of them has them. But yeah, you know, I'm just not gonna get a quarter and then I'm not gonna be faced with that very difficult question. Hey miss, how you doing? Speedball is nice, with Ipecac, we don't really want devil deals. So let's go. The guy for some reason didn't care about security camera, so he took a bus. Is Ipecac alone enough to win a run? I don't think so. I actually tried that before. And I didn't manage it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. If you're better at the game than me, maybe. Like... I mean, technically you can beat the game on base damage, right? <laughs> it's just a matter of... Can you realistically do it? Noob? That's me. The N in problems IRL stands for noob. I can bomb in there. I have four keys, so this is probably not necessary, but we want to be optimal here. Hey, that's pseudo flight. I like that thing. It let's you get a lot of things that you wouldn't normally be able to get. I'm finding that magic mosh, man. That's one of the, the few very legit damage ups. Hey, <laughs> that's one of the very few very legit damage ups with Ipecac. <laughs> so it's definitely worth it to look for that. 67.44 damage, ladies and gents. From her dark. Streamer loot. Yeah, we've got the I've got the def console on again. Oops. The damage up for the one-shot kill. I mean the point is that you get to the point where it's not a one-shot kill anymore. And now uh, with that magic mushroom, that point moved about like three floors back. Right now, that magic mushroom really only gives us speed and HP, right? I mean, right right now, the damage up doesn't really do anything. Soy milk now? I'd be down. How about Godhead? Hello? There we go. All of bandages is really nice. Gives us some protection from enemies that charge at us that we don't necessarily want to Ipecac. Curse of the Mozzie. See, I, I guarantee you we wouldn't have one-shot that champion worm thingy there if it wasn't for the magic mushroom. Oh, brother. How did I not get hit there? Is that a super tuner rock? No. <laughs> How does Brimcac work? Really badly. Or well, however you want to look at it. I'm gonna regret that, am I? <laughs> ah, it's gonna be fine. The guy is close to me anyway. Um, I don't see a single tile where I can... That one? Okay. Black market! I'm probably not gonna take anything except for mapping. I mean, this is gonna lock in devil- oh no. This is gonna lock in devil deals, and I don't want to do that. I don't even think I'm gonna take mapping, to be honest. I'm gonna play this guy for the hearts I have on the ground. I guess. Yeah, basically, Ipecac Brimstone, your Brimstone continuously explodes on impact. Which makes it incredibly, incredibly easy to blow yourself up. What if you got explosion immunity? Well, then you wouldn't blow yourself up. It's really difficult to blow yourself up when you're immune to explosions. It's one of the, the very well hidden intricacies of the Binding of Isaac. So that would make it very, very good to take. This run is one either way. I mean, probably. But either way, I don't really want to lower my odds of winning the run. 
All right, I can open chests now without touching them. All right, I was just looking for that store. I want to find I want to find the map. Thank you. That's not the map. Man, I really want to pick up that compass and turn on speedrunning mode. <laughs> Let's do it. I could take the Pandora's box too. It would give me a boss item and two soul hearts. I guess that's good. And then I take the shovel with me. That is not the boss item I was hoping for. <laughs> Beggar! I'm gonna blow him up for good luck. Wait, why am I at 100% angel chance? Do black markets not lock in devil deals anymore? Wait, what? When did they change that? <laughs> Excuse me? Like that must have been a thing ever since repentance came out and I just learned about it. <laughs> That's a bit embarrassing. But also like, it's not like there were patch notes about her or anything, so... Little chubby. I think even the wiki still says that black markets lock out devil deals. I mean, they used to. And I don't see another item right now that would actually prevent that. Ooh, come on. That's Luna, right? Oh no, Soul. Well, I have the compass, so Soul is a lot less spectacular. I'll just take the health up, I guess. That feel when health up from birthright, but I mean... <laughs> Do I have a trinket? I have the left hand. That one certainly didn't affect this, but good thinking. Floor is this steps one, okay. Come on. Oh, okay. Uh is that tears up? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wait, plus 8.21, so it doesn't actually affect the, the multiplier from Ipecac? That's such a weird choice to me, because Magic Mushroom clearly affects it, right? <laughs> Why not that? Huh. Okay, there's a blue baby run. I don't need to be worrying about fighting the skull. I am shooting diamonds now, though. And they're exploding blue. Daba D. Scatter bombs! Those don't affect Nipakak, so that's fine. Maybe they cancel each other out? No, they definitely don't. If they canceled each other out, it wouldn't have given me damage at all. Well, there's the fool card if I want it anyway. But I have to clear the boss rush, so I don't really see the point in taking that with me. It, it's about... There's about as much point in that as taking the Hagalas with me with Hippocac, to be honest, but... At least the Hagalas I've had for a while now. You know, we formed a special bond at this point. Special James Bond. Uh, blue baby run, so we take this. 
we're also apparently at full HP. I mean, I'll, I'll take the pact. It's tier rate up. Tier rate is good. And you come to Papa. Uh, well. That thing's gonna hit like a truck. Look at the damage that does. <laughs> You can't just spawn invulnerable. How am I supposed to sharp straw you? Oops. Oh, also I got hit now. So now my, my diamond buff is gone. But I have 69 damage, so I guess that makes up for it. Thanks, monstro. bit annoying. Knock back. I don't see anything. Okay, cage is down there. RNG rocks? No RNG rocks in my face. Straws are for suckers. I love sucking with my straw. Straw is such an underrated item, man. <laughs> I really feel like a lot of people are not appreciating that straw enough. Basically, the, the, the handful of percentage damage items in this game are just so good. You gotta respect them. There's not a whole lot of them, but if it deals percentage damage, it's insane. Especially if you go to Delirium, which I'm not here, but, you know. The fact that you can use it multiple times makes that item- Oh yeah, absolutely. If it wasn't an automatic recharge, it'd be garbage. Maybe not garbage, but definitely a lot worse. Oh my god. <laughs> Curse of the Mozzie. Oh, right, I have the straw now. I just tried to dig there. Oh, nice. Good, uh, good, good shortcut. Thanks, game. Appreciate you. Mr. Fred. This, this really is a speedrun build, man. Ipecac, damage multiplier, sharp straw for global damage, the compass for mapping. Like, this is the kind of build that you would have done a speedrun with back in the olden days. Yep. I have no idea how much HP I have. He's more DPS than me, I still don't know how much HP I have. That's golden key, definitely what I needed.
I mean, I probably still have more than enough, right? But it's still a bit irritating not seeing your HP for that long. Oh my god. He just presses spacebar and everything dies! The man can't be stopped. This is a bit unfortunate. Okay. Wait. Hold up. Wait, uh, huh? Is it... Does it actually extend to the riot? Is the map playing a bad joke on me here? There's no way it wraps around on the left, right? Justice. There's just no way it's gonna wrap around on the left. Okay, yeah. That seems... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh. You know... I did say speedrun mode, but I'm gonna play it a bit safe at least and go for the the hearts. Play. Wow, these guys don't die to one hit from the straw. Wow. No. Nice. Oh, I need to drop the left hand. Otherwise, my chest is going to be boring with a capital B. Look at that damage output. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Can I see my HP now for the last floor? Please? Nice. Oh yeah, I'm a-okay. Triple shot! Tear rate! Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh, the laser doesn't explode? Are you serious? Are you serial? Totally this way, right? I believe. I mean, the laser deals bonkers damage, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't explode. But ma, I wanted an exploding laser. Oh. See, if I still had the speedrunner uh, instincts, I would have gone for war first. Because he has a chance of leaving the screen and going invincible. What? You wanted to explode in my face. Well, I mean, at this point, I have enough HP to support that, I think. Look at that damage. Nice. Blue Baby speedrun world record. Not really, but this was pretty fast. GG.